are vendors all over the place, them and their little children trying to sell things. They're not really asking for money. They're just uh, willing or trying to sell sell you things. And uh, but they'll they'll sell you. They'll start with a, a little fold out twenty postcards, and they'll start with twenty denari, which is over twenty dollars. They're they're walking this way. See, it goes all the way. Those people up there that are walking up there, they're walking all the way down on the other side of that ridge to where that covered pavilion is. And then they're gonna keep walking all the way down. And there's a road that comes out right down here at the foot of this hill. And then that road comes our direction. I didn't know how many went on their trip. Yeah, I just hadn't had time. I made the time. I sure wish they could have waited, but they didn't anticipate this one. I guess he'll show up. Byzantine church to the right, trail to Casa Albinteria, the basin, uh, to the left, and uh, Aldir Monastery to the left, and Turkmania Road to the right. Here we go left, here we go right. And what time is it? It's a little after 12. Maybe we ought to go to the left. And Wendy's trailing back behind and talking to the people. Local, chillaxing. Aqueducts and the Romans made the aqueducts and the Colonnade Street in the first century.
really quite amazing, isn't it? Boy, this is like a jigsaw puzzle trying to put it back together. You wanna, you wanna take a picture of me while I explain some things? Uh, I'm gonna get you to. different than any other city, even today, by today's standards. Behind me you'll see the ruins of colonnades that made up the structure, the infrastructure of a whole civilization here in this valley of Petra. It's an amazing place, and uh, I'll cut in a few shots for you of the facades that men carved out of the sandstone, but it's just like being said, you don't build your house in the superstitions and the religions of the world in the past. So everywhere you look, the fear, the religions are based upon superstition and fear, not faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And that's the only way anyone can ever establish their life in a secure way with the hope of eternal life. And it applies to us today. We don't base our beliefs and our faith upon the word of God. And our faith will crumble under pressure. This city is a prime example of that. You see the ruins, I'm sitting on one of the ruins of a column that was carved out by people spending hours and hours and hours of time and energy upon trying to make things look good. And it all comes to ruin. Everyone's life, they're gonna, they have about the same amount of time, 24 hours in a day, and you're gonna have to spend it in a wise way. You can devote yourself to prayer and the study of God's word, know the right questions to get the right answers, and the best answers. Don't delay. Don't spend your time on worthless ventures. The world is doing that all around us, and it's all going to come to ruin, just like Daniel chapter 2, the prophet who was given the vision and given the dream to interpret for King Nebuchadnezzar, a Babylonish king. The story was that his dream, his nightmare, consisted of an image made out of gold, and out of silver, and bronze, and iron, and clay and iron. When a stone was carved out of a mountain without hands, it smote that image on the feet. It came all crashing down, and the, and the stone ground the image to powder. And the world is in that very state today. So I want to encourage you to get into your Bible, study the Word of God, and don't waste time. If we can help you, go to www.edenrestored.com. Roman road. These are pavement yeah. laid in by the Romans. They did good since it's such a long road. They sure did. It would have been a rough ride in a chariot with iron rims for wheels. Mm-hmm. Yep. The Iron Kingdom. did, but Jeanette, she stayed back. Uh, yeah. I think so. Oh, no. Thank you. You want to go up these steps? Great temple. Oh, that looks pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay, get a picture of that. Great temple, Brown University Excavation.
friend. Looks like they're still excavating the temple steps. Yep. Nope. You don't want to go too much higher. Wow. Look at those stones. Those got to be six feet across. They carved them out of sandstone. I'm gonna try to negotiate this sandy. Yeah, that's not bad. Ooh. When do you want to go up on that side over there? the elements do to a temple that although there was so much time taken so much time taken <laughs> la, la. I don't think I want to go up these steps too much further. West vaulted chamber. Oh, wow. Just the ruins that you look back in history and you see just a snapshot. This is actually a good spot.
I've been recording, sorry about that. I guess we better keep moving, huh? Yep, it's a theater. I guess so, and they'd release the lions. Ooh, you'd... What kind of theater was it? It's a Roman theater, but it was a special after the Oh, I see. Yeah. You gotta go to school and learn. You put things in your mind. You know, learn things and then you'll be happy. You'd be, <laughs> yeah, you'll be happy if you learn things. You'll be powerful. You know powerful? You know, change your life. Be, yeah, go to school and learn. My school for the main Sunday, Monday. Oh, yeah. Good, you learn English. Yes, school. Good. Good. Where aren't you in school now? Where's your school? School with my village. Oh, finished school, finished? Well, you're out of school, huh? You sure? You're not supposed to be in class? Time? Oh, okay. 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 Dinata for the schoolwork, she says. She wants Dinata for the schoolwork. down the stairs. Watch your step. position. Yep, this is the yellow cab lot.
like an oasis here. Somebody tried to cut down that tree. That's sad. You see? I don't know. I'm glad they didn't. Restrooms. You want to see later? Oh, thank you. No. See any of our group? It's a store. It's another store. It's a store under the guise of a museum. Yeah. Nope. Let me turn that off. 